Alright, so I'm going to be showing you how I use the Easy Grabber device. You can buy it for like 25 bucks off of Amazon to be able to play video games or whatever other RCA devices you have on my computer screen. So for this, I'm going to be showing you how I use my Xbox over there. Um, the way I have it wired is I have the regular Xbox video cable coming into this thing's video port, the yellow to yellow. But then instead of plugging in the Xbox's red and white audio cables into this, since, like, I tried that at first, and then it was pretty bad sound quality, instead, I use, um, an RCA to 35 millimeter jack adapter. You just plug them into there, and it can be used as, like, a regular microphone-type device. And then I just plug it into my laptop's microphone port right there. And then on Windows, I have it set to, like, play the microphone device at all times. You can figure out how to do that on the internet. It's pretty simple. So, yeah, I bought this. And then the device drivers, I'd heard when I bought it that, like, the CD that it comes with was pretty bad. So then I just Google searched the company, and then on the company's own website, I download the most updated drivers. And then the, the program that comes with it, One Touch Grabber. Pretty sure you need this, but without any configuration, it worked perfectly, so that's pretty nice. So then let's test it out. Go to my Xbox. There's the power button. As you can see, it's playing it. Uh, the cable came out a bit. Oops. Let me plug in the cable again. Okay. The audio cable's all the way in. You might be able to find a better option for the audio. This was the only thing that really worked for me, but whatever. Um, there you go, you can make it full screen if you want. It's actually, like, it's not perfect video quality, but it's not bad at all, especially for a laptop. If you look, I'm, like, using the, the controller now. Um, as far as I can tell, there's some lag, but very minimal. Uh, for like 25 bucks and pretty much no effort setting it up, this is a really good deal. So, yeah, I definitely suggest this to anyone who wants it. As you can see, I have XBMC on my Xbox. Let me show you running a game. Um, it's a cool game. I'll do like Halo, since that's the stereotype. And if you guys want me to post a video on how to install XBMC, I can probably do that too. But whatever. So you can see. If, like, the, the scratchy noise that you heard earlier was just the jack moving. So as long as you don't move your laptop or your setup or whatever, it should work fine. Um, be careful, though. If you set your microphone audio to too high, like with the setup that I have where it's through a microphone port, the... The audio can get a little scratchy on like the higher notes. And if you want to fix that, you can go and then I think under like mixer or something, yeah, you can change like the the microphone's audio power under levels. See so external mic, I can I put it to zero. It works pretty nicely. So yeah. Halo works. Any game works. This is useful if you want to play video games like in college or something where you can't take a TV. Maybe you want to record movies. Oh, another thing. So, under the programs, where is it? The, the settings, you can have it, or, and then also it uses S video as well if you want a VCR. But for snapshot, you can change the video format to BMP or JPEG. I'll actually change the JPEG now that I see it capture button on the device itself there's a, this little button right here when you click it you can either set this to have it take a snapshot which is the picture or you can have it sorry for the blurry quality yeah you know it capture video actually so and that's useful if you let, let me turn that off hold up er, one sec alright I'm restarting the Xbox. Um, so that's really useful. Like, let's say you want to 
if you have some VHS tapes and you want to put them onto DVD, you can do that. So yeah, pretty much, so Easy Grabber, or it was Easy Grabber 2. I don't remember the company that made it, but on Amazon it was like the only one. The program works just fine right out of the box. Um, I've been extremely impressed. You can mess with the settings a bit. There's like brightness and contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness. Um, the video formats, it supports PAL and NTSC. So yeah, I, I definitely suggest it. If you need any help, just post a comment. I can help answer it. Worked right out of the box. Um, plugged it in and then installed the drivers off the website. Worked just fine. So yeah, thanks for watching.